Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and today I've got another Two Minute Tuesday for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a cool little trick when working with XREFs in AutoCAD. Hopefully it'll uh, help you guys save some time, and I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you guys would like to see uh, Seven, in the next six, one. Five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred two minute tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to copy line work from an XREF into the drawing you're currently working in. Uh, you might remember this uh, property layout from one of the last videos. Uh, right now it's an XREF in this drawing. You can see here in the external references uh, menu. And normally uh, if you need to use one of these lines or maybe you want to highlight a property uh, you'd have to redraw it or copy and paste it into your drawing uh, but there's a quicker way that not a lot of people know uh, and that's the n copy command this command also works with blocks uh, and it's super useful it's the nested copy uh, so i'm going to go through how to use it and to activate it you're just going to type in n copy and hit enter and it's going to ask you to select an object you'd like to copy uh, and the nice thing is that it lets you select individual objects from an XREF. It doesn't have to be in your drawing, but it's going to pull these lines out for you. So I'm just going to choose, let's say I'm going to choose this little subdivision here. It's called the sac So maybe I want to highlight these or I want to uh, darken them or change the color. And I want to bring them into this drawing, but I don't want to bring all of the property into this drawing. So I've selected these properties. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to ask me for a base point. The quickest way to just put it, put it in the exact same place as it is right now is to hit enter twice or use 0, 0 for the base point as well as the displacement. So I'm just going to hit enter twice and that's going to end the command. And now you can see that these lines are now automatically added to your drawing in the same location. They're not removed from the XREF. If you select the XREF you can see the lines are still there they've just been copied into your drawing. And this also works, like I said, for blocks and uh, can be a super easy way to, to transfer line work between drawings if you only need little parts or just temporarily. Uh, you can trace these over and maybe you want to draw a new one and then delete the old ones. So there you go. Thanks for watching today's Two Minute Tuesday tutorial. If you have any suggestions for the next video, please leave it in the comment. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter for more videos, tutorials, and CAD news. Cheers! Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers!